lesson plan number one, we're going to go over guard break number two. Guard break number two actually is me physically trying to open Casey's guard. So back down. Let's face them for this. this one. We're in this position, guys. Casey has a great position. I got to keep his legs down. My hands are on his solar flex. My legs are open into a good base. Now I need to make it very uncomfortable for Casey. To do that, I'm gonna wanna keep his stomach down flat on the mat. And I do that by keeping my arms locked and shoving down with all my weight. At that point, I'm going to step with one of my knees and put it in the dead center of his body, which tends to be the butt crack. Then I take my other leg and I step out to reposition and make a stronger base. Now, my elbows were back, holding him down. Now I want to break his guard, so I pump up, and then I bring my elbows in. Now, while he's keeping his legs locked, I'm gonna wiggle my elbows to, to cause pain. And as I wiggle my elbows, I hiss like a cat, my back goes back. At this point, his legs should open, and as his legs open, I bring my elbow back, walk back to my foot, bring my knee to my elbow, step in, drive my knee down to the mat, blocking the bicep, praying with my feet, pumping the underhook, and blocking this other side. Keeping him nice in a weak, vulnerable position. That being said, to force it, my hands are keeping his pelvis down. I want his tailbone on the mat. I put my knee in the center. I step back with the other knee at a 45 degree angle. I bring my elbows up and in. I'm going to wiggle the elbows as my back hisses like a cat. Once I feel the legs open, my hands are going to go to the leg on the outside. I'm going to block position as I rock back and step in. Driving that knee to the mat, keeping my feet on the other side as my feet come together and pray. Blocking the bicep, blocking the shoulder, Pumbling the underhook, keeping my partner in pain. That's guard pass number two.